On today's show, we'll learn how to put on our makeup in five minutes. We have some very unique marriage proposals. And we'll do a couple's workout. Oh, and we have a big section on custom-made clothing. Well, that's great. I have a custom-made dress right here. You ask custom-made? Are you duty-free? <laughs> me in that custom-made dress, Andy Matheny. <laughs> and I'm Forbes Riley. <laughs> well, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I thought it was funny, too. It's, it's our sensibility. Yeah, it is. You're well, such a good sport. Yeah, well, I'm just dumb. That's all. <laughs> no, we are going to learn how to make... You know, you, I guess years ago, people went to tailors to get their clothes made. Mm -hmm. Now it is, it's off the rack, perfect size, whatever you happen to be, or not. Now it seems like it's a luxury, but we're going to find out how people can do that and not cost a lot of money, which is why I like this show so much. It's essential not to spend a lot of money and look good, right? Right. right. There we go. Okay, that's our show. Good night. No, I'm just kidding. We also have a section on unique marriage proposals. Uh huh. You know, I've known you for a long time. I have never. I. I you've never told me how uh, Tom proposed to you. That's true. I haven't. No. Oh, good. I get to do this on television. <laughs> this is a good story. Uh, my husband. It was Christmas Eve. He is playing Santa Claus. All six foot six of him. Uh huh. Uh, he's uh, working for the Downtown Women's Homeless Center, Santa Claus. And he comes home and he asks me to play Mrs. Claus. So I spent an hour getting, dress, getting dressed, full makeup, nice white dress. And he comes in all dressed up as Santa Claus, walks into the bathroom, gets down on one knee, and he says, would you marry me? Now I'm thinking, now you have to understand, my husband, the gift that he gives me, the first gift he gave me was a, a tequila lollipop with a worm in it. And the next big present was a ceramic pig. <laughs> this man is so romantic, and I think literally there's gonna be like a little Santa ring going, oh, isn't that cute? And we are living together. And he opens the box, and there is this beautiful gold and diamond ring. And, and he says, would you marry me? And I'm like, for real? <laughs> All that makeup goes dripping down my face. <laughs> I am crying. And then he, he takes this beautiful ring and he shoves it on my finger and it's just too darn tight. <laughs> and it's, my finger turned, it was a, it was a, it was a romance. It's You're good. making me cry. No, there we are. <laughs> oh, how cute. That is was us. that the night he proposed that to That is you? the night he proposed to me, ladies and gentlemen. That is sweet. Well, I'm crying because I know it's never going to happen to me. Oh, oh stop <laughs> it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> what I should say is that, you know what, I love telling that story. Oh, you're so cute. I love telling that story because I think it's so important that, that men ask women in a romantic way. We are going to talk about that later in our show. We are, we are. We'll get to it later. And now we live together, and now we share a closet together. Well, interesting point that you bring that up, because we're going to be talking about that right now. As a matter of fact, how many of you share a closet with, with a man? Any of you? It a could, lot of you. It could ruin your whole relationship, it could. couldn't it? By the way, you do know these men, don't you? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> well, we found a couple who really needed a closet makeover. And they've been married for two and a half years. So uh, let's meet them now. Let's meet uh, Scott and Gina McRae. Hi, Scott. Hi, Hi Gina. So, How are you? Good. Thank you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Now, Gina, we're standing in front of Scott's clothes, his closet, so to speak. Uh, what is your problem with his clothes in the closet? Well, for the most part, all the colors are pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. um, he has a lot of plaid, a lot of plaid going on. A lot of plaid. Oh, Lumberjack Scott. Lumberjack, a lot of beige uh -huh. plaid right. going on. That's and, um, I, you know, I, he looks good in anything he puts on. He really does. He looks very good. But uh -huh. I, it would be nice if he could sort of just change it up a little bit and mix it and, up get yeah a little wilder a little color more, more colorful <laughs> a little sexier okay. i don't know because he is kind of a cutie look he's at like him. a jockey kind of guy he is in gray he yes in gray. Gray. <laughs> now we're standing in front of your wife's closet we've brought all of her clothes what don't you like about gina's wardrobe well uh with gina's closet usually I don't get a chance to go in there. Usually she keeps a lock on it, so it's, <laughs> it's one of those. But this morning she opened it up for me to take a quick peek in because we knew we were going to be here. And uh, the, the, the biggest problem with her closet that I find is that she has three dressers in her closet. Oh, really? In addition to all the other clothes. Well, of so course is that, she does. I mean, is it just made? Do most women have three dressers in their closet? Along with tons of clothes. <laughs> and pack rats. They do. But now looking at her clothes, do you like the way she dresses? 
I like the way she dresses. The, the thing that I find is sundress, sundress, sundress. But these are comfortable. What are you Sun talking about? <laughs> sundress. Sundress? Oh, I have that dress. Sundress. Okay, yeah. this one could be yours. I have this there's, dress. Thank um, you. <laughs> okay, there's a lot of There's a there's a, a lot, lot of, of a lot of the print, same. a lot of color, flowery, sundressy. I don't know, this looks good on you. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> really, really. Okay, so we have a lot of colors going on and you don't do you like the way she dresses? Hi, honey. Hi. <laughs> She's carrying your child. Be yes, yes. Right. Uh, I I do like the way she dresses. The one thing I would like is more than anything, I would like the closet to shrink a little. See, the, we had the choice between the closet and the baby's room. <laughs> Oops. And it's the closet. So the baby is sleeping with me in the living room now. So that's <laughs> By the when way, the we, we should mention that, Gina, how far along are you? Six and a half months. Six and a half months. Oh, okay. Wait till she go shopping for baby clothes. That's right. She started and more already. Dressers. She started already. So if you had your druthers, you would want to add some color. Some color and some more texture. Okay. I mean, Is there anything he here just, that we could put together that you would like to see him wear? I could try. All right. Well, <laughs> do you want to just pick up something now and see what you could uh, put sure. together for him? Okay. Um, what 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 does he not wear enough that you'd like him to wear? Uh, How about this color? That's no, nice he color, wears right? that. It is a pretty color. He <laughs> okay. does. He has uh, these shirts uh, in every like green and blue that's possible. Oh, and, all right. Uh, so. <laughs> Let's yeah. see. Um, <laughs> it is Gap. It's very Gap. Uh -huh. okay, well, you guys are busy picking that out. I actually want to spend all the time with Scott because you do you have an idea of what you want Gina to wear. Right you want to pick something yeah, out of her see. closet that you like? Okay. Yeah, that's nice. Like this. That's good. I like. You like Isn't that sexy? Does, that's nice. does she not wear this? No, okay. she hasn't worn There's that color. in a long time. Okay. Let me see. And then I would add. Well, actually, it helps on the I, way. Could we put this? You know, you're picking something out, we're picking something out here, but somebody can really help us pick something great out, and that is that our fashion guy, Lauren Zarian. Come on, Lauren. Come on, Lauren. Lauren. How are you? I'm making an entrance. Yeah. Hello. 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 Nice to see you, I Lauren. have the answers. Hello, Gina. Hello. Nice to see you. Hi, Hi Lauren. Hello. Hello. Hi. Nice to see you. Hello. Thanks for But you. before we, I have the answers for you guys, but before we talk about clothing, let's talk about first the closet. A lot of people hate their clothes, they hate their closet. So they take things and they shove it. Don't have a lot of money to buy their clothes, you know, great clothes. So what they do is their co closet becomes something that they hate. Mm -hmm. Well, first, why don't you make over your closet real quick? No wire hangers. Wire hangers should be out. Mommy dearest. Yes, thank you very much. <laughs> also, get your clothes and put them on a nice wooden hanger or a plastic <laughs> hanger. Clothes look better, they hang better. The wire hangers are bad for a dress because it pokes through the shoulder pads of a man's shirt or a woman's dress. Also, cedar chips. When you open up your closet, not only does it look good, it smells good. Oh. Why not do that? So start this little gift for you, Scott. Thank there you. you go. There you go. <laughs> Gina, yeah. We'll have you use Gina. So why not make your closet look and smell good so then, that, then it becomes an event. So yes, you have the same clothes, but it all looks a little bit better. What a great tip. Yeah, there you go. Oh, tip. and and then and then we have some great ideas for Gina and for Scott. Okay, wonderful. Right. When we come back, we come back? Yeah. we're gonna see what Lawrence can do to help our feuding fashion couple. So don't go away. Oh.